that's our citizen and um, that will be the physician at mission fantastic it looks really good to me um just want to go over that with you guys and see um just how we feel how like how i feel about it essentially um all right so if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and um i also stream on twitch every thursday tuesday thursdays and saturdays so make sure to give me a follow up there as well all my links are down below in the description all right so without any further ado let's get right into it let me just real quick stop my music real quick and let's get right into it super loud in 315 we are delivering hospitals for the players of star right. citizen for me the healing loop is something that's gonna have a big impact on the way we play especially in co-op we ended up creating these drop off points where you can carry your injured friend it sort of looks like an elevator with a gurney in the middle so if you have a big crew and everybody has had a bad day then you can keep feeding them to the machine oh okay 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 all right i didn't think they were gonna do this initially that's cool so if you have somebody that's that's injured that needs medical attention let's say you you can bring them to a, a major location like lorville like um art corp microtech drop right in the hangar there's going to be an elevator that takes you straight to the hospital Perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then as soon as you go into the elevator, it takes you directly to where you need to be in order to um, get yourself fixed. That is good. I like that. One of the interesting challenge about building hospitals is obviously that we have to build them for a purpose that isn't there yet. And so what we did on the design side, we were very involved with the actor feature team in what is the uh, ailing loop going to be like and, and what are the requirements that we have to factor in in our location. So we decided that we need some pharmacies where you can purchase meds. We need also instrument shop where you can set your respawn position. We need also like a completely new way of approaching um, rooms reservation. We know we get assigned a room in the habitation when we spawn, but now we do it the other way around where you go into a location and you reserve a room from the lobby and, and we didn't have that flow before. So we had to develop all of that uh, to support the, all, all the, the mechanics that are implied with the healing. Okay. Or 350. Okay, so it looks like as soon as you, you arrive at the hospital, you have to literally book a room. So will there be such a thing as an overbooked hospital? Right, that's that's kind of my, that's thinking, thinking that way. I think that's, so what happens when it's overbooked? When there's too many players in there? Is there going to be a waiting area? Um, that, that's kind of one of the things I'm curious about. See how they're going to handle that. Okay, okay. And the question is, how long do you have to be there at the hospital, right? I'm sure different injuries require a different amount of time or effort to to um, to um rectify. So I wonder, I'm curious to see, to finding out um, how long are you going to be at the hospital for? Um, hopefully it's not too long and hopefully it's not too, sh too short as well. You know, you kind of want to be immersed in it, but you kind of want to stay there like, like, long you know what i mean we introduced four hospitals horizon base clinic grimex and new babbage as you enter new babbage hospital you'll see right away what i think is one of the really cool feature of this hospital is that there's this glass ceiling above you that allows you to really take in the vista and if you look behind you you'll see the Aspire Grande Tower, where the, the abs are. You're going to really find good. your reception uh, on your right-hand side, and you're going to find all your shop and services needs on your left-hand side. And really, from there, all you have to do is keep going straight to the other half, where the elevators are. And then it takes you to the medical floors. I specifically worked on the upper floors of the hospital. That's where the player will be able to check in at the nurse's desk, spawn in at the medical room. 
in my opinion, this hospital shines. Okay, so okay, so you spawn in at the medical room. So how are you gonna spawn in at the medical room? Are you like is it do you spawn there? Um when you're logging in, let's say the last place that you had you died or something like that. You log in, you log in at the hospital, or when you die out on the field, you spawn in at the hospital. Or when you arrive at a location, you go into the elevator and then from the elevator, you get a blast screen and then you spawn in in a hospital bed. Right. That's kind of those, those kind of my those are my thoughts initially. I'm curious to see how they're, they're going to do this. Horizon is really big, super high ceiling, really open and super clean, too. You have like the reception right in front of you and the service is a bit behind. And then uh, the elevators, they take you higher up. As you go out of the elevator, then the player will pass through and see this absolutely gorgeous wind sculpture there. And seeing those big whale passing through the clouds in front of you as you're in those medical bed. Um, I think we're going to get space well sooner than we think <laughs> from the way this guy is talking. I think they already have a prototype out there working with space whales flint because he's obviously seen something to, in order to give us this description. I'm really curious. It feels special. Hold on. Space whales citizen con. If we see space was in citizen con it will be a good opportunity to blow people away if we even get a snippet of them maybe off in a distance or somehow and maybe getting space whales in 315 316 i mean and maybe that'll be the first introduction to actual uh fauna on planetary bodies it will be a good opportunity to be a good surprise feature but uh, the way this guy is describing it it seems like they already have a working prototype of space whales on Crusader. And that's really cool. I would love to see that. So it feels different. And then we have the space clinics. They still offer all the same services that you would find in a larger hospital. It's just that everything is more compact. We're creating modules and different pieces of the space clinic. So that way, every time you experience it, it'll be just a little bit different and you'll still get the same feeling. We always try to place them near the uh, the elevators that takes you to the hangar so that whether you come in after you're being injured or whether you're walking out and you're in a hurry to go back in space, it's easy and convenient. So you walk in there, it's again, uh, very clean, but much less so than Horizon. Obviously, it has more like this kind of low tech vibe to it. These ones, I, I expect them to be uh, fairly popular because they're just so convenient. Grimex, if it had a smell, it would smell like <laughs> like, like, a, like a, a sport bag or something like that. Low tech is not as clean as you or Horizon. You know what? Me personally? Yo, Inubaz, what's going on, bro? It's on the menu tonight. We, we're doing watching Inside Star Season real quick. And um, we're just reviewing it real quick. And then after that, we're going to get into the game, bro. We're going to do some maybe some bounce tonight. But yeah, man, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Um... I'm really liking this because each hospital is going to give a give a different feel, right? I like the fact that Grimhex is going to have a different feel from Microtech or Art Corp. I like that. I like the fact that, uh, or even Orison, just, just wake up at a hospital in Orison with space, space whales flying around. You can see them right through the window. It's just a, whole, a completely different experience as opposed to Grimhex, you know? And um, I like the fact that each land, each location you go, is going to be a different feel. That way you can select where you like to be. I, I like that. I like that. Personally, it, it's the best. It's much smaller. It's more like on the clinic size. So there's not a big elevator to go through. As we all know, elevators are the biggest killers in game development. Bro, that's the so reception? Holy. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that's the reception at Grimhex? Bro, I don't want to go to that hospital. I think that we skipped one there. 
it has this nope. really nice view to bro the they don't even clean the ground the, the floor is dirty and the cool thing is that you can also land your ship right next to a side entrance to the clinic so if you're in a hurry and you don't want to go and park in a hangar or into the traversal you can park right next to it get out walk in you serious and get treated but the thing is like it's open space right so oh, your ship is exposed while you do that and goodness. you could very well see a pirate fly in and shoot at your ship as you're getting fixed it don't even look legal <laughs> really this kind of uh, emergent like interaction is really what makes a game shine i think the hospitals are part of a game changer yeah that's really cool like i, I like i like the, what they're doing with grim hacks it's it's a completely different feel <laughs> it's it's quite interesting it's quite interesting when people leave the hospital and they wake up and they explore around i think they're really gonna see like the love and care we put into each crevice and corner i hope that the hospitals are gonna be a way to wrap up the full healing loop Honestly, if the players find them convenient, me as a designer, I'm happy my job is done. Hospitals are the next major offering from our team in Montreal and serve as no a long lines. Of the, the next <laughs> major <know>. advancement <laughs> in player healing from the actor no team be there. scheduled to come online in the upcoming Alpha 315. And while we'll be learning more about how all that works in the coming weeks, let's shift gears now to spaceships. Specifically, Aegis stalwarts, the Gladius, Saber, and Retaliator, and find out what it what it really means to be the gold standard in a pipeline that is continuously evolving to this day and beyond. The gold standard pass is what we are terming uh, this current pass on the vehicles. We are implementing primarily cockpit button placement, cockpit button animations. Um, making sure everything is metric, both character and item wise, exposing all the ship items, lighting passes, material passes. Yo, same miles, what's going on? How you doing tonight, bro? Is finishing the ship to uh, as complete a standard as we can with the feature set that we have right now in the game. The first ship that we put through this pass was the Aegis Gladius. I was a little, I was a little nervous working on the. I really Gladius like this. It is like the Star Squadron, and um, you know. I like I, I really like this the fact that the saber has this i want this on other ships i want this on other fighters you know i want this on other fighters unless they can give me a different color gladius i don't want a green gladius i want maybe an all black gladius a navy blue gladius you know what i mean i, I don't want the green but uh i'm liking this it's nice it's nice I was a little nervous working on the Gladius. Shit, med units? I didn't hear anything about that. Yes, because it is like the Star Squadron. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to make sure I did a good job on it. And then also coupled with the fact that because Squadron are using it, I had to make sure that I didn't break anything with each submit. So they that can keep nice. working on Squadron. Okay, so the Saber is getting that, that um, auto start animation right there. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. Because Squadron and I are using it, I had to make sure that I didn't break anything with each nice. submit so they can keep working on Squadron and, um, you know, still able to test and work on it. We started off with adding component hatches and a personal inventory. Gladys didn't seem to have any, like, visible uh, headlight source, so I went in and added, like, some nice big headlights for that at the front. And then That's it was cool. just, like I said, like, with the thruster glows as well, trying to get them to look nice and read from a distance adding the fuel port on it as well oh that is so and cool then, yeah just that like is the, so cool man like i really love the detail they're putting into this game it's fantastic it's just 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 look at this just look at this look at how the shield generators actually interact with the ship so in the future there are going to be shield emitters right so look at this look how the shield generators well. interact so see how they're connected by these things right here this is how the shield generators is able to transmit its, um, I guess the sh shielding to the commit, the emitters that will be installed all over the ships. And you can see how it just removes itself when you're opening it. It detaches it. Oh, that's then, so yeah, cool. Like geo optimization. I really hope they add this to all the other ships. I hope that, that they do that. That's really cool. 
I don't know, material optimizations and more stuff that you don't necessarily would see, but makes the game, you know, more optimized oh, wow, that's and nice. runs better. What? So storage? The they got storage access on the Gladius now? Yo, Chris, what's going on? I've been. That is crazy. So the gla what can you store in here? Like, you find something, you can just drop it in here. Oh, so hold on. So is it going to be physicalized or is it going to be a container? Maybe this is going to be a container. Maybe there's going to be a new, con like a container, the, the loot system coming in with the physical inventory. Maybe they're going to have a container on this and you can actually put a limited amount of items here. That is cool. I like that. So on the next ship, personal the inventory, Sabre, um, we, mm. we built on what we learned from the Gladius and did that in the Sabre. For instance, the damage mesh, like the damage mesh could needed a bit of tweaking. We added in a bunch of lighting so you can uh, still read the ship from afar, but not make it too bright as it's still a stealth ship. And after the whole exterior was done and dusted, we moved on to a revision of the dashboard. Overall, just that is nice. So it's that looks beautiful. Not as noisy. And now you have like it's even daytime. Look how look how nice it is. It's well lit. Look at that. Look at this. It's even daytime, and look how well lit it is. That's beautiful. That's nice. That's nice. That that really tells me that this is Aegis. Um, this is an Aegis dashboard that you're looking at right here. Dashboard. Overall, just reworking. Perfect. So it's. Not as noisy, and now you have like a better view of like your cockpit and then um, just everything nice and compact to the sides. Nice, 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 nice. And a couple of sentences, a really rough overview of the Sabre Gold Standard process. Okay, so the Sabre has the same so thing. The gold standard... See, yeah, they, did, they did the same thing with the Sabre, so that's good. That's good. They did the same thing with the Sabre. And a couple of sentences, a really See rough that? overview right there. of the Sabre Gold Standard right there. process. That's cool. I like that. So the Retaliator Gold Standard is obviously a much larger task than the, the Gladys and Sabre. It has all the same criteria of work, so looking at the cockpit, looking at the components, adding all the things, checking everything's symmetric. But because it's got an interior, then there's additional tasks added. So the, the same work we do for the cockpit of the pilot has to be done for the turrets. Um, the components that you can physically take out of the ship, can you physically take them out of the ship? Do the doors need to be wider, etc. Now you've made the doors wider, do they still fit in the ship when they open? And we also took the time to look at the central room and thought, can we improve on this? We decided to remove the top and bottom docking collars and go for a side airlock, which also helps for docking because that's just a natural walking on transition. And then because we'd lost a, a, a lift on that side, we then realized we had to make the lift on the other side slightly larger to accommodate essentially two lifts worth of people. So then you've now just got one lift on that side of the ship to get in and a docking collar on the other side to get in. Yeah, so I'm really happy that they're updating their tally. Um, I guess it makes sense. It's I, I believe this is going to be a part of the Squadron 42. Seems like all the Squadron 42 ships are being updated with the gold standard in, initially. Um, but I really like that they're updating the tally. The tally kind of has, I feel like it has fallen to the back burner, at least from my perspective, as a, sh a viable ship to use. And uh, I'm liking the updates that they're doing for it. It looks really nice. The thing that the Retaliator has is the customizable room modules. And there's a cargo module front and back. Okay. A dropship module at the front. They were all brought up to current standards. So when a modularity comes on as a swappable item, they are good hmm. to go. So using, so now in the future, right? I always knew about the modularity that the Retali is going to be able to offer. And I'm really liking, digging the idea that I can use a retaliator as, uh, as a, as a, as a, as a hauler. Right. I, as a hauler, there's going to be, I believe there's going to be a living area module. There's going to be cargo. There's going to be the torpedoes, obviously. And I believe some other stuff, drop ship. Like there's so much customization that you can do with the retaliator. It's really going to be a nice ship. I think 
once the modularity is added into the game, I think everybody should own a retaliator because you can re you can re you can recustomize it for whatever purpose you need to you need it for. You know what I mean? That's where we're at with the the first gold standard ships. Obviously, going to go through all the ships, but we are going to focus on the ones that feature heavily in Squadron Forty Two first, and then we will roll on to your favorite ship afterwards. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned nice. So I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. It's it's looking good with the with the hospitals, the new hospitals that we're going to be getting. It's looking good. Um, I'm really curious to see how the game, the the gameplay mechanic, the medical gameplay mechanic is going to work um, with, with the new hospitals and, and the, the spaces and the future uh, gameplay um, features that will be coming into medical gameplay. Even that's not even going to be in 315, but in the future and how that's going to work with, with the new hospitals that they're adding. I'm really digging that. Palm Lad, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? You know, so I'm really digging that. So um, I'm liking the um, the fact that each location you'll go to will give you a different, view, different feel. You know what I mean? I'm liking that. I'm liking how... Um, I'm liking the gold standard ships. You know they did discuss that and i'm liking the fact that the gladius has all these different little these little spots um access points for all the different components that way you can interact with them when actually when you physically need to actually work on an uh, on a component to repair it physically with tools that's going to be really cool to do you know I'm, I'm really digging that um and the fact that they're going to be transitioning all this gold standard over to all the other ships not just the squadron 42 ships it's really exciting i'm really liking that man yeah so that's 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 my review of inside star citizen if you're new to the channel you haven't subscribed already make sure to subscribe and uh i do stream on twitch every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays so make sure to give me a follow there if you haven't already all right